Good morning, beautiful people. I thought that I would just quickly jump on a live with you. I have just come off my interview, uh, my kitchen table talks with Julie Dean OBE, who is the founder and owner of the Cambridge Satchel Company. Now, um, I was asked by the British Library Business and IP Centre to have uh, this kitchen table talk with Julie Dean because she has a, you know, huge company, a global company that has been doing really well, founded in 2008 with just £600 from her kitchen table, hence the name Kitchen Table Talks. Um, and uh, she was back on her kitchen table. It was the same kitchen table, but different kitchen. And uh, we've just had a chat about business and all everything that's been going on with um, with COVID, our pandemic, and how that's impacted us. And Julie Dean, she gave some nuggets. I thought that I would share those nuggets. Hello, look, touch, feel. I'm sure that's Ricky. Good to see you, Han. Um, so I wanted to show you some of the nuggets that she said around what she's done, three things that you need to consider during this time um, when it comes to this pandemic. She's The first thing she said is you need to get really pragmatic. So she's had to furlough. She had 120 staff. She's had to furlough a whole load of them. And they have now gone down to a really small skeleton team. So she said you've got to become really pragmatic and literally consider survival. How do you make your business survive during this time? And you've got to look long-term and become quite brutal. Um, the second thing for her was that you need to get stuck in. So you may not be able to do all the things that your, um, well, you need to do the things that your team maybe were doing before. So she was talking about the fact that she's had to, you know, get involved in the website, write code, um, work on the satchels, uh, you know, do all the different things, you know, write copy, do all different things in her business. So she's got to get stuck in. And the third thing is to be brave. You need to let go of your how your business was and start embracing where it's going and what you want it to be. You need to evolve. She also said of investors, when you're looking at investment, that you need to have a really clear, authentic voice and be have your own confidence because sometimes they'll tell you things that don't actually align with you or your business. You need to have the bravery to be able to push back. When, when it comes to mindset, you need to really, again, go back into being confident, but more so than just being confident, you also need to consider connection. And that means connecting with your community around you, considering the wider world and not working in a bubble because you need people. When it comes to marketing, you need to find your tribe. Stop trying to market to everyone and find the people who are interested in you. That may not be when it comes to demographic around an age group. It might just be around something that people are actually interested in. And she said that her business is all about interesting people. It's not necessarily about an age group. So people who are maybe a little bit quirky and like something that's a little bit different, they are her target market, not necessarily 18 year olds, for example, because she isn't selling toys, she's selling satchels. And that has wide breadth of people that would be interested in them. Um, and then she also said there were a couple of books that she mentioned. One was Guerrilla Marketing, which is an old book, but has pretty good info in it. And the other one was called The Dragonfly Effect by Jennifer Arkers. So they're two books that she's offered. For me, it was a really great experience to interview her uh, and just to hear her nuggets. And one of the things we both agreed with was that we are complex beings and to air is human. So just get used to making mistakes. Don't give yourself a hard time about it because some of the biggest companies make mistakes 
at the end of the day. So hi, Rihanna, that's my daughter. Hi, Alex, hello to you. Um, yeah, biggest. some of the biggest companies make mistakes and we know this because if we look at the stuff that has happened over the last six months, the kinds of companies that have gone under, um, huge companies that were brand names that we were used to, and some of that has been because they weren't flexible, because it was all about being a massive company and not necessarily always looking at the numbers or being willing to evolve or to cut the, the fat from the company. So it's been a great morning um, having that conversation with Julie Dean OBE from the Satchel, the Cambridge Satchel Company. And uh, what was interesting is, as you know, many of you know that I'm a confidence coach uh, and work with executives. And her, uh, actually, when we came off line, her thing was, she said, you know, actually, one of the biggest things that's most important is your confidence. Because if you feel confident in your business, then it's not even in your business. Firstly, you need to feel confident in yourself. If you feel confident in yourself and you feel convicted and, and authentic and comfortable with who you are, then that will seep into your business. If you're not sure, that seeps into your business. And so, Work on being your best confident self um, and then make sure that your business is a confident business. You don't need to make excuses for um, who you work with. You don't have to justify it to anybody but yourself. But if you are confident in your market, confident in your tribe and you look after your tribe, then your tribe will look after you. So these are the nuggets that came out of this morning's interview this kitchen table talk with Julie Dean. Um, thanks so much for watching. And uh, all I can tell you all is this, with every challenge, with every crisis comes opportunity. You choose whether or not you're going to focus on the challenges or whether you're gonna focus on the opportunities. Because we're human and we've always been going through challenges, then you know what? You are capable of dealing with them. Focus on the opportunities. Who do you need to be with? Who do you need to know? Um, what do you need to do? What do you need to cut? What do you need to now get involved in? You guys are more than capable. Uh, and if you look at all the things that you've been through in the past, you know you can survive. You know you can make it. So do what you need to do for you. Have an amazing day.